Why did the cow wear a bell? Because its horn didn't work. I'm not just being obnoxious, I'm talking about the humble car horn. Did you know that the first car horns were actually bells? And then they became hand-operated Aruga bulbs that drivers would squeeze to make a sound. You know the sound. That's right, there was no horn button back in the early days of cars. You had to literally squeeze the horn. Honka honka. It wasn't until 1908 that the electric car horn was patented by a man named Miller Reese Hutchinson. And it wasn't until the 1920s that car horns became standard equipment on most vehicles. But car horns aren't just for alerting other drivers. In some countries, drivers use their horns to let pedestrians know they're approaching, while in most, it's pretty rude to use your horn at all. But if you do, a little bit of a nit nit is way better than a big one like this. It's funny how well we can communicate with just one button. So next time you hear a car horn, just remember that it's not always about road rage. Sometimes it's just a friendly honk to say, get out of the way. So thanks car horns for making honking super.